So today, I can only draft the player if I know their exact weight. Now, weight is an interesting thing. It's tough because, like, take, for example, the guy I work out with. Way bigger than I am, like, super muscular, stuff like that. But he weighs less than me. So it just sometimes doesn't make sense because sometimes the bigger guys who aren't maybe as muscular might weigh less. So it's really, really tough. I can only draft the player if I am within 10 pounds of what their weight is in my guess. This is going to be a super fun draft. The, like, the forfeit for this is I have to drop three eggs on my head. My girlfriend will do it when she gets back. That'll be the draft forfeit. Ba ba bam. Let's go jump in to the right draft. I'm feeling good today, guys. I don't know. It's a beautiful day. Everything is good. I just got back from... Oh, my volume on my TV's on. So I need to fix that. Give me, actually, no. Whatever. We can draft with it. I'm going to take Dougie Marone. I like Dougie. Dougie's a good guy. We're like a family. Lots in Jacksonville. Because we have the same... It's like we're from the same thing. We've both, like, we've both been through a lot. Okay, here, I'm going to guess Amari Cooper weighs 100 and 90 no i'm gonna guess ab is who i want i'm gonna guess he weighs 190 pounds they they don't say the weights on here you're not gonna tell me the weight so i have to look up all these weights super just great okay you can't tell me the weight okay well it's like i gotta get my ipad Oh, great now literally no joke 190 pounds is exactly what he weighs don't ask me how I pulled that off, literally a complete guess. He just looked like he was 190. A lot of the rounds, if they're not, well, okay, here. Oh, I want the blunt. I really, really do. I'm going to say he is an easy 225, okay? Like Garrett Blunt. The problem is, like, for a lot of these guys, I don't know kilos at all. Like, Canadians, we don't use kilos. So it's like, it's like, what? We have no idea how that all works. So when I, when I see that, I just get confused. 250. He's, a, he's 250. Oh my gosh. Okay. Todd Gurley is 220, I bet. No, 210. I'm going to say 210. Uh, hopefully that gets me sort of in the range. This is actually a pretty fun draft. Good. Let me give myself a pat on the back quick for this idea. This is a 230. What did I say? I said 210. So no, he's actually 230. So we get LaShawn McCoy. Sick. I did not want LaShawn McCoy whatsoever. The last guy I wanted, but I messed up. Okay. O lineman, any round that's like this. We're not gonna do we're only doing the big time players because i don't have your guys' attention for that long i can't take that for granted aaron donald is I, i'm gonna say he's a 240. i'm gonna say aaron donald is 240 pounds okay aaron donald weight in pounds 284 he's up do i see i have no judge of weight whatsoever okay mel uh, melvin ingram actually i want dante dante is 240. and if i get this one wrong then the, i am the absolute worst at this Dante T Hightower, weight in pounds, 270. Okay, so we get Melvin Ingram. Sick, I am struggling. In a word, I am like, this is embarrassing. I should quit now. I should quit YouTube. I'm not getting any of the players that I want. Okay, Marcus Peters, this one should be easy. He is exactly, I'm going to say 185 would be my guess. He's the guy that I want. If I don't get him, I'm going to be disappointed. I just got to be within 10. Marcus Peters, wow. Does he not have a weight? Does Google not know? Have a wait for Mark Peters. He's 200. What did I say? 185? Awesome. Okay. Jalen Ramsey. I'm going to say he's 2. Jalen Ramsey is 190, which means I get Vernon. That doesn't make sense to me. Jalen Ramsey is a bigger dude and, like, looks to me like he would be a lot, way a lot more than this round we're not doing. I need, a, I need to just regroup for a minute, boys. I got to regroup, get some of these crappy rounds over with before we get to the QB round because I could see myself really butchering the QB round. Okay, we're round 10 now. Now we got some th stuff to do. Leonard Williams is who I actually I want. Yeah, I want Leonard. I'm going to say that he weighs 290. Okay, I I've really not gotten any right except for the first one. So hopefully, wait, 290. Is that what I guess? Is that not what I guessed? Ba-bam. He weighs 291 pounds. You can fact check me all you want. Don't care. Okay, here I want Des Bryant. I'm gonna say he weighs 200 pounds. I'm gonna say he's. I'm gonna say he's right on the 200 pound. Mark. 220. Dang it. Um, Demarco. I'm gonna say 220 as well. He's 227. So we are within 10 on that one. So we get Demarco Murray. Life's getting more simple. It's getting easier. Allen Robinson's always great when I see him. That's one of my favorite team leaders in the game. One of my favorite receivers in the game. Here I got to go with cornerbacks. Ooh, actually, I should take an Ioka. I love Ioka. It's one of my favorite guys in the game, Brandon Marshall. Jamie Collins. I should be doing more of these, but I only like to do... Okay, I'll do this one for sure. Mark Barron is who I want. I'm going to say he weighs about 230. Okay? Mark Barron, I'm giving him about 230 pounds on the scale. He's like a linebacker, but he, he's not big. Like, he's 
He's relatively 210. That's got to be old. When he was a safety, I don't know. I feel like he's beefed up a little bit since when he was at Alabama. I'm going to say Fletcher Cox is at 290. 298. Ba-bam. We'll take him. It's a D tackle. It's not the most exciting thing. It's not going to impress too many people. Here, I can take Aaron Rodgers, Kirk Cousins, or Big Ben. I'm going to go flashback Aaron Rodgers. I never take Aaron. Actually, I love Kirk. I love Kirk. I got to go Kirk. Captain Kirk is just absolute goals. I'm going to say he weighs 200 pounds. 210 pounds. That is within 10. Sorry, Aaron Rodgers. I love Kirk Cousins. You, can, you can't break us up. We're just too close of a pair. Uh, I should go for one of these big guys. Okay, we're going to go Walter Jones. I'm going to say he's 300. 300 pounds. 325. Clowney, I'm going to say he's 260. 267. That one was clutch. I know. Don't even ask me how I got that one. I really was not expecting to pull that off whatsoever. Okay, now we got more corners. Okay, Josh Norman. Or no, I want Casey Hayward. I'm going to say he's 180. He is 190. That is within 10. Final round. We have our legend round. Now, this is the round where this is big. I want Rondé Barber. No doubt in my mind. That is the card that I want. I am going to say it that he weighs 190 pounds, okay? This is this is the big one. Rondé Barber, weight in pounds, 180, that is within 10, ba-bam, let's go at the W. I, I put a lot on the line today, I did. I don't really want eggs on my head. I've never had that happen before. I don't know how it works. I think it gets stuck. I think it's just gross. Let's go begin our championship run. So because of the quarterback that I got being Kirk Cousins, uh, it means that there's no chance that I can lose. I don't know if you guys know that. As soon as you get Kirk Cousins, uh, I don't lose with him. I don't think I've ever lost a game with Kirk Cousins. He is the absolute go. Please, if you guys can, go find a game because I'm sure I have lost a game with Kirk Cousins. Just link it down below. I don't know. Drop a link. Let them know what video could I I don't think I have. Like, me and Kirk Cousins, we have a magical friendship. I don't know if you guys know much about magical friendships. That's me and Kirk Cousins. We just, we are just the best friends that anyone could ever have and this is a greasy defense that he's wow what is this guy doing i'm so confused okay there's blitzing and then there's this other type of thing that i like to call blitzing that dude just went blitzing like he went all out i don't know why he sent every single player on his team at me. I don't know what the point of it was. I got a touchdown. I don't want eggs on my head. I'll take it. Okay, so defense wise against Mr. I sent 6,000 people to go hit you on the last thing. Defense wise, I'm going to play pretty laid back. You know this guy's throwing deep. If you're crazy enough to send 28,000 people blitzing, you're crazy enough to go deep early in the game. And I feel like this guy is at that level of craziness. Got him, coach. There's Barber. Hello. I'm back. I'm back. I'm not about to lose. I, I don't lose. 98% of the time I win, the other 2%, the opponent wins, but I never lose. Please quote me on that. Please do. That is, that's a quotable moment. You know how you look up online, like, TD Barrett quotes? I want that to be the first one that pops up. 98% of the time I win, 2% that my opponent wins, but I never lose. Never forget that. That's, it's a beautiful, it's a truly beautiful work of art, and it's a beautiful quote that I just said. So just, just love it and embrace it. Okay, let's go play. Offense, he's gonna be a little bit smarter here. Um, and yes, it's apparent already. I'm gonna go hit Allen Robinson. Can you catch it, Allen, please? That's all I ask. I'm just gonna take my play to McCoy. Did McCoy find a way there to get a first down? No. Okay, fourth in inches. I'm not super afraid of this guy at all. I'm pretty sure he won't know um, to just go take away the flats right away to LaShawn McCoy break the tackle. That's a first down. Okay, if this guy's defense was an Apple product, it would be the original shuffle. That's just kind of how I feel about this guy. I feel like he doesn't really know what he's doing. He's slowly starting to figure things out though. Maybe he watched my videos and was like, I should blitz a lot. Maybe he's just taking my advice. Maybe this guy's a fan and I'm just completely bashing him and I shouldn't be, but I feel bad if this is a fan because Kirk Cousins is about to be really, really mean in this game. Kirk Cousins is about to just dot people up like it's going out of style and that's what we're doing right now should i go for a fake let's do it let's get it I, I don't say let's get it very often because i just feel like i can't so i'm gonna say it right now flip it to him oh that's ryan mallet that's ryan mallet let's go oh he completed it almost got it okay so this guy's ran one play on offense and thrown one interception those are like early career blaine gabbert type numbers if i'm him right now i hit me with an inside zone but that's just me and that's exactly what he's going to do and that's how you can prepare for things sometimes when you guys play madden let me just inside the mind of td bear 
you don't want to just think about your play calls. You want to think about this guy. This guy, he's nervous right now. He knows he's about to lose. He wants to quit. He's thinking, I need to do something big here, but I don't want to throw an interception because if I throw an interception, my game is over. So he is going to be relatively smart. So he's going to throw short. He's going to do stuff like that. And it's going to be simple. If you can prepare and learn what your opponent is thinking, that's more important than knowing what your self is thinking. That's a really dumb quote. That one, I don't want to be a professional quote. I don't want to be quoted on that 10 years down the road. But here, okay, fourth down. He needs a fourth down. He's going to give me a money play. Bunch play. He's going to try and go to the outside. He's going to try and go to Antonio Brown, his best receiver, on a corner route. I can almost guarantee you it's the simplest route in the game. And people just love to... Or a screen pass. Ba bam No. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got him. Bro. My users. My old users, like if you showed me like a year ago what just happened, I would be so disappointed in myself. I wouldn't even be able to watch it. I'd have to close my eyes. I couldn't watch my users be as poor as they just were. I'm looking around. He has no under defense, which means LaShawn McCoy is going to be open every single time. I'm going to start doing a different type of commentary. This is called the guy who just simply doesn't care commentary. I'm making a YouTube video, but I'm too cool for it. Uh, that, that's the type of commentary I'm going to give you guys right now. Yo, I just had a pretty sick play. I'm 8 for 11 for 126 yards and a couple touchdowns. The game's going all right so far. Really still don't want to be here, though. I don't know why I turned on my Elgato and face cam, but it's, it's, it's whatever. Um, I just made a really bad pass. I don't know why he was playing cover two there. I thought for sure he was in man coverage. And now Kirk Cousins has to make a tackle. He did. Okay, that really sucks. But I'm not upset. I'm not going to show any emotion because I don't want people to think that I'm not cool. So I'm just going to maintain my cool level because I was being really cocky. I don't know why I made that pass. Oh, this is embarrassing. I don't know what to do. I kind of want to power eight. Did I underestimate this guy a lot? Yes. But I still, I'm not going to lose. Because that's too many videos in the last few games that I will have lost. But I definitely have underestimated this guy. He's looking pretty good right now. Okay, so I decided the game was taking way too long. Okay, I made that executive decision. I said this game is going on way too long. We got to speed this process up. So I did. There we go. And I just scored. I went down the field and we scored on him. Now I'm feeling a lot better about my situation as a whole. I knew that I just needed one drive, which I know that drive wasn't exciting. It really wasn't. It was a lot of running, kind of quick passes and stuff. It wouldn't have been anything that you guys would have found entertaining whatsoever. Here, I'm just going to try and hit. My idea is to just one step LeSean McCoy out of the backfield, get the conversion, and we are now up by seven once again. I'm not sure if I get ball, though. I think if I remember correctly, I am kicking. So I still have a little bit of work to do, man. This guy definitely made a good little like comeback in this first half. Yeah, yeah, get over there, Peppers. Get over there, Peppers. That's an interception. Okay, can we can we get you go? There we go. Break that tackle and just keep going. Okay, finally. I knew he was bound to make a mistake. Now, what we do on offense now after a mistake like that is I continue to chew clock. I don't want I want this game to be in the fourth quarter. Even if I only get a field goal, the game has to be in the fourth quarter by the time that he gets the ball next. It's just what I believe gives me the best chance to win this game outright. I don't want the ball in his hands. He's got a pretty, like, not to say his offense is, like, amazing or anything, but he has really, really top-tier receivers. Like, he's got Odell Beckham. He's got Antonio Brown. He's got tons of speed all over. He's, I think he's got Chris Carter, too. So he has really, really solid wideouts. And my corners are decent. Like, I have Rondé and stuff. But there's a big drop-off after Rondé Barber. So, uh, and I don't really have any great safeties. So I just need to run the ball. Um, chew this clock down and hopefully end with like a little bit of a score at the end of the third quarter go into the fourth quarter give him the ball one more stop the game's over life's easy life's well what did I just say sometimes I just I always realize that sometimes right at the end when I'm about like trying to like end a segment I'll just be like this life's yeah and then it just makes no sense and then everyone's like what on earth is this guy saying how on earth and I'm just gonna go hurry up and I want the touchdown now how is Murray he just quit that was it. That was all he could take. I think that fumble was all I could take. The play before, I could sense frustration. I might even show that play before, but I could sense this guy was getting very, very frustrated in the way that I was playing the fourth year. That's one thing that happens more than you may know. It happens literally all the time where you can like, if you frustrate them, certain guys, honestly, all they want is just fast paced 
exciting football. They want to go down the field, they want to score, they want to come back. And when you start slowing the game down and like chewing clock, running the ball, it drives them crazy. Sometimes they'll quit. So thank you guys so much for watching. We got the W today and I'll see you guys next time.